All right, people. Welcome back. More the endo commentary. So we are joined by Omega. Hi, Omega oh, Chaos here. And this person left. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, that yeah. rule is so bullshit. I really There's do think it is. Tell the opponent. Oh, uh, don't you have to tell? Isn't it common knowledge? Yeah, I, I think you do have to. But yeah, I believe kind of. Kinda. It's bullshit. It should be automa automated on TN. Yeah, it's really bullshit. Like, I believe Konami made a ruling that that's common knowledge even before the duel starts, even before you select who goes first, so... And, and of course, they have to give you the right answer. There's no mind games in here, so... Or you can get disqualified, so you pretty much had a, at uh, regionals or locals or whatever, you just before you duel, before when you sit down and you're shuffling your deck, like, oh, how many cards do you have in your extra deck? Oh, zero? All right. <laughs> it's still kind of rule shocking, in my opinion. Hey, Konami said you can do it, so... <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I guess we have to find a different duel. Be right back. All right, we finally found another duel. So we have Minecraft 0417 at only 125. He's playing some version of the dolls or something? Like, okay. And uh, Blade Roar at 165, but at least 1397 in experience. So, uh, yep. it's dolls. I mean... Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah, they haven't been doing anything since uh, Construct got banned. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Wow, that mathematician and that foolish. All right, all right, I see you. <laughs> yeah, pretty good opening, I guess. For what Shadals can do nowadays. I mean, busting out that Shikinaga wouldn't be terrible either. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I know Shadal. I think a Shadal deck topped in the OCG. I think one. Uh, I guess when to dank law, which I mean El Shadal I mean not Shadal Fusion, uh uh Mass Change Second is also hit in the O C G. But yeah, that, like I said, the more the more I said the initial reaction I was like, Oh well at least you did some hit, so I'm fine with that. But the more that I'm dealing with the list the more I'm just like this list sucks. <laughs> yeah, because they really only hit uh, one deck mm -hmm. and magicians as well. Lol. Yeah, yeah, it's like wait, you hit the shit out of magicians. But fucking uh, everything else is you hit you hit some tier two shit, but the tier one shit, nah, that's fine. Yeah, before hitting Cosmo and Monarch and Burning Abyss. Mm-hmm. Especially Burning Abyss. I am so sick and tired of seeing that deck. Like, how does that yeah, deck stay? This is ridiculous cards. How does it stay tier one for a year and a half? Like, if the deck was tier one for a year and a half, it would have got killed by now. <laughs> but I guess they really want. I seriously, I you know what? If um if uh Beatrice never came out in TZ, I think I think. Uh, the deck would have got hit. But because Beatrice and because they want to sell that whole Beatrice thing, they didn't hit yeah, it. Yeah, because the whole deck got pretty much reprinted in the gold series. Mm -hmm. well. Old deck, Beatrice, it's like, hey, play uh, some uh, some uh, Burning Abyss, but seriously. Like, holy crap. OCG had the deck for less time, and they hit it harder than we did. <laughs> yep. And they are still uh, pretty much the best deck in Doshi, mm -hmm. even if they aren't uh, limited. Well, is it Burning Abyss or is it more like PK Fire? Yeah, it's of course using the Phantom Knights as well. Okay, and that's what I've done. So that was like, I seriously doubt that pure Burning Abyss can really do much with only one Dante, but when you throw Break Sword and all them Phantom Knight cards in, then sure, go ahead, more crap to you. But holy crap. <laughs> I went ahead and Fiendish chained the uh, Shikinara. Oh. Of course, we haven't, you know what, we haven't even dressed, we've just been going off talking about things, haven't even dressed. Uh, yeah, you're seeing the card images, sort of. <laughs> no profile pics, but, uh, uh, someone actually, uh, took the time to, uh, put all the card images on a different server similar to how, uh, uh, YJ Pro and Depro do it for DN, so, yep, card images, so that's nice. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> all right, nice, we've shot all those, okay. Okay, just all the fusion. Seems pretty inconsistent. So. All the fiendish chains, like, no. <laughs> like, Roar, like, you have a pretty high experience. I thought you'd be playing something more meta, but, I mean, I guess it's nice. It's not more, it's not a reset button to the meta, but it's still interesting to see different decks on here. Uh, never mind, it's just Denklaw that deck. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> Wait, I thought you can't, uh... No, you just can't normal summon or special summon monsters when you have to uh, red actually out that he couldn't normal summon special summon set. No, he could still set. Yep. Wow, mistake, main deck. Oh, wow, main deck mistake, okay. Damn, so, uh, I guess no, uh, <laughs> last change for you, sir. <laughs> 
So uh, it's a different uh, URL than just regular Dolly Network because it's on a different uh, server for the cards. I'll put the link in the description if you don't know. The cards are a little low res, but I mean, hey, low res is better than no res, right? <laughs> it's something at least. Yeah, it's something. For you who use Dolly Network. Mm -hmm. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care. I mean, at least it helps uh, D&D commentary in the live stream, yep. so that's good. <laughs> I wasn't too bothered by it, but I'm assuming the viewers were. I mean, we haven't been getting, like, mass dislikes on Dando commentary. Because I guess I, at the point where it's like, I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> People stopped. That's good. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That Blade Armor Ninja look, kind of looks cool like that. <laughs> I think it's the anime artwork. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Blade Armor Ninja attacking just from doll monster, so, I guess. <laughs> Like, you already know there's some Shadals being played right now, but Red Eye, Shadal, every fusion, like, I guess. Okay. Oh, another one. Why, why would you do two, two Falcos? That's not even necessary. You set, you had a Falco set, and then you set another one? Like, really? Like, what is this duel? <laughs> yeah, lols. Not top tier, at least it's not Monarchs. <laughs> or Cosmos, or... Whatever, uh, I'm assuming Draco Pals aren't dead and they're going to evolve into something else. I'm just kind of waiting and see what they're turning into. But I guess we really won't know until the first YCS, which I think is Providence. Yeah, I think so. In May. I mean, I'm going to a regionals, which I guess would be one of the first regionals after the new list. But I'm not playing in it. <laughs> Why? Because I don't, A, I don't have a deck, and B, the easiest deck to obtain, I don't want to play it. Because we discussed this before <laughs> on the last of the commentary. I don't want to touch Monarchs because fuck that, it's too easy. <laughs> well, I just don't like it because it's uh, so boring to play. You know, if it, if it actually had some merit to it, then sure, maybe we talk, but it's just a fucking structure deck, like, no thank you. I actually want to have pride in what I play, and Monarchs, are, there's no pride in that. <laughs> Just on our way to the freaking regionals, so let me stop at Walmart and buy three structure decks. Alright, I'm tournament ready. I have a tier one deck. Let's go. No. Like, why do I still need some cards extra? Okay, okay. Combined with the cards from the rest of the people who are going. Which I definitely know they have. So there we go. No no effort done at all. No deck, <laughs> no creativity, no nothing. Fucking can't stand that shit. Like I said, I don't mind if a, if a top tier deck is... I mean, if a structure deck is tier two, but not tier one. <laughs> Why? Because then it floods the markets with too easiness and it makes it boring and linear. What? What's? Because yeah, because so. because because the structure deck being so easy to access and being top tier tier one blocks out all the other decks. What's the point of me taking the time and effort to make like Yang Zings or something other tier two and trying when someone could just go to Walmart buy three structure decks of Monarchs and beat my ass? What's the point? <laughs> I yeah, might as I guess, well go to the Walmart and buy a structure of my own. So it then <laughs> you're flooding the market with fucking monarchs or whatever this top tier structure deck is. You know, that's how I feel about it. I totally don't mind a tier two structure deck where it's like, oh my god, this person took a structure deck and won and beat all these tier one decks with a structure deck. Cool. But then when it's like, oh, it's one of the best decks and the easiest to obtain. Why should I take the time and effort to build Cosmos or fucking Phantom Knights or something when I could just simply just buy monarchs and have just as great as a chance well because those decks are better than monarchs <laughs> but i still have a really high chance of doing it and there's no creativity <laughs> especially with how yeah, fucking monarchs, uh yeah there's not much room there. for creativity in there the really isn't <laughs> so boring wow okay the hero lives to summon neos alias okay <laughs> I, I seriously, uh, I guess Denkwall's not gonna do much. Okay, call the hunt. Well, oh wait, oh, I say wait. I forgot you can't search. Ah, you know would been pretty would be pretty good right now. <laughs> exit on low. Oh, of course, <laughs> uh, exit on. <laughs> but thankfully that card is banned. You hate exit on? Well, I don't exactly hate it, but I think it's uh, kind of unfair card in some situations. Hmm. I mean, I guess we've been okay without it. Yeah, because it's uh, um, pretty much... Uh, uh, 
Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you just completely forgot what you were gonna say. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I think completely. Yeah, forgot. <laughs> okay. And yeah, we're just gonna skip. He's like, I, I can't. They are lost. Yep. Yeah, that mistake, though. Yep. The mistake killing me. Like, you know, not that Denklaw would have gotten over that that Niki Naga and that booty, though. But, but what was trying to say is that they done um, rewards you for losing pretty much true true it really does it's like hey you're losing but then I guess in the other angle it's like hey well at least you can attempt to get back into the duel because I don't think there was any way that really Blair was gonna get back into that duel but if he had Exiton he could have at least had a chance to come back into the duel so I can see both ends but I, I just don't like how accessible it is I think that's the big, my biggest gripe with him because then, I guess you could say that you could you could argue the same thing when it comes to Black Rose. Summon it and blow your opponent and blow the whole field up. Let's say my X time is just a generic rank 4. That's your problem. <laughs> yeah, pretty much because synchros are not as easy to make. Nope, but Xyz, I mean, come on. <laughs> that, that, that's the, the pinnacle of availability. <laughs> okay. I don't really don't like how you set all those cards in main phase one. I, I don't like setting in main phase one. I don't see the point. Wow, Blackstone is still thirty something dollars. Yeah, after all, I see it rare. I mean, but no one plays fucking red eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's not even tier two. Like, come on. <laughs> fucking thirty dollars for each it for it. Will be played in two months as well in the future because you can summon that. Uh... Realize two and dragon, two and dragon from the deck. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's fine. <laughs> Shadow Mist effect. I mean, what does he have to stop Shadow Mist? <laughs> Mistake. He just set his cards. This is um, yeah, mine's true. first turn. So what does he have? <laughs> okay. I, I mean, I'd crash their eyes with it. I'd do it. Fuck it. Fuck Red Eyes. I'd rather get rid of Dinklaw. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'd attack decoration. Alright, you guess during the damage count? Wow, get wrecked by Forbidden Lance. <laughs> I mean, it was it was a risk. It was a risk. I, I would have went for it, but it was a risk. God, Minecraft. Wow, and M <laughs> MST, not Twin Twisters. Not not Twin Twisters when uh when you actually have like Shadow Mist that you can discard yeah. to get the search, but no. By the way, what happened with that uh, Twin Twister debate that was supposed to happen? <laughs> uh, freaking, freaking Omega Chaos pretty much uh, dropped it, and then the ban list came out, and it didn't get hit, so there's really no debating on whether it should get hit or not, because it didn't get hit. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> so we just kind of dropped it. <laughs> it's fine, whatever. <sighs> I mean, it's I mean, Twin Twister didn't get hit, but Strike didn't get hit either, so... Fucking strike. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, pretty broken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I, I don't like... Especially with no end date, like... <laughs> it just makes me uncomfortable knowing that I gotta deal with multiple strikes for who knows how long. Three months, four months, six months, I don't know. Fucking... Uh, like I said, at least Oshiji, you know, we, you at least have a general idea when you're gonna get your, uh, your V jumps. But us, I just... Like, TCG, I hate you so much. Like, you just make Yu-Gi-Oh so inconvenient. <laughs> fuck it. Might as well... you just like, fuck it. Might as well attack. Okay. If Story Mirror Force. Again. <laughs> Multiple Story Mirror Forces. You really should have. I mean, there are multiple sets. Especially since your, your summon was fine and resolved. You should have assumed that the back row is probably going to be more battle-esque traps, but whatever. <clears throat> yep, hit him with that warning. Yep, that's not a warning. Mm, that's a fine card to warning. <clears throat> just, no, not just this list. <laughs> yeah, he's so bad. It really is. At, at first I was like, oh, it's not that bad, you actually did things, but I guess I was just reacting to, we got a list and you did things more than just, you know, did you do the correct things? 
and the chicken game band actually hurts a lot of uh, low tier decks as well, mm -hmm. not just FTK decks. You could have just limited it if you wanted to hit those FTKs, not just ban it. Yeah, that fine. one, it wouldn't have done anything, even in those FTK decks. No. I would have been fine at one, because at least you can get that that uh, field spell filler. Because some decks, I would really like to play triple my field spell and triple my terraforming, but then I would like to have the ratio. Now the ratio is not even there. Indeed. Now you're just going to dead throw your multiple terraformings and field spells. Mm-hmm. So I'm just... Um, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Say, I, I personally, if you wanted to do it the other way around, I probably wouldn't mind. If you wanted to ban Upstart and then do Chicken Game, I probably wouldn't mind. But, eh, whatever. And the top start limit is so random, like, why? <laughs> I guess they just, it was pretty much in the same boat, because I, in the FTK, you need that life point difference. You need the Upstart difference with the ch yeah. combined Chicken yes. Game to get that difference to play, uh, um... Uh, magical, I mean, life equalizer. So I guess they're like, instead of hitting life equalizer, we'll just hit the things that make you have separate life points. We'll ban chicken game so you can't go down, and we'll hit upstart so you can't go and make your opponent go up. So. Uh, is that a game? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> just like, nah, how about you just bounce something? Just tell you. Okay. Okay. Wow, so you're just gonna, instead of main defeat, you're gonna crash and go out like a man. Like, that's what you wanna do. And I guess we're going down to uh, game three. <laughs> yep. So, I I don't know. That shocked the hell out of me. <sighs> so, are you playing your staples? Are you playing your staple upstart and your triple insta fusion with uh, one Norden and one thousand I'd restrict because. That's just the way Konami apparently wants us to make decks now. <laughs> mm, in rank 4 decks, I think uh, people will still play one Northern and random level 4 fusion. Uh, that'd be interesting. I mean, before Northern's existence, that play with Insta Fusion was pretty good, so. Okay. Yeah, pretty decent. What the fuck? What in something <laughs> like. Synchron's uh, Thousand Eyes Stick is so good because it's level 1 uh, fusion you can use for formula play. Mm-hmm. Let me say that. Now, since it's here, I don't think Thousand Eyes Stick is going to be a problem. But yeah, I, I just don't like both of them. Because now yeah, you're Northern really... Banned. Yeah, I, w I would rather you see Northern Banned. Mm-hmm. Because limiting Northern will do absolutely nothing because most only played like one Northern. I believe Something. they played two, but I don't believe that two was used in the duel often. It was generally that one Norden that put in that work, so. So, I mean, like I said, it's just one Norden and then one level four fusion monster. I mean, it doesn't give you that additional summon from the graveyard like Norden does and make it so it's just absolute uh, resourceless Castell, but it's close to it. I mean, just summon a level four, insta fusion, summon that level four fusion, there's the XC right there. It, gives you, it still gives you that additional summon, which is one of the powerful effects that uh, uh, Institution had before, but now, with the set-to-vised version of still having a Norden, it's just ridiculous, so... You didn't, you didn't do anything, Konami. <laughs> it was pretty much a cop-out. It really was. Like, I, I don't even... I don't even, Really, I don't even get why you did it. Like, I, I really don't understand why you did it. OCG, I mean, it's clearly been. It's just there's just some hits that OCG clearly did that you didn't. It's like you pick and chose which hits you wanted to do from OCG. Pretty much, yeah. It's like it's like, hey, OCG, what do you have at? Oh, we have Norden banned because it's fucking broken. Yeah, we'll put it to one and leave Insta Fusion at three. Like, hey, hey, OCG, what do you have? Freaking emergency teleport. Oh, we have emergency teleport at one, and we don't even have Cosmos. Two. <laughs> <It's> like, Cosmos. <laughs> This <laughs> is like, what the fuck? Well, I don't think commercial teleport is actually a real, real, it's a real program. I think it's Cosmo Dark Destroyer. I, I mean, I mean, no one, ex it's it's just like no one really expected them to hit Cosmos directly. Yeah, that's So true. If, if you're not going to hit Cosmo directly, can we get the next best thing of an indirect hit? Can we get that emergency teleport to one? Done. You know, similar to how you put Tour Guide to one. 
You want to start off? Have done something at least. Yeah, but two, two. I mean, I guess. Like I said, I've told as an indirect hit, reasoning and emergency teleport both the one for indirect hit for Cosmos. I would have been fine with that. But two, no. Nah. Just like, hey, OCG, they they did uh they did Wisdom Ida one, so we'll put Wisdom Ida one, even though the deck is not even doing anything. But uh, the the more powerful card of a uh, pendulum call as as a as a one card pendulum scale, nah, that's fine, that's fine. Like, <laughs> it's like, well, it's like if they would have hit uh, both this Tomai and pendulum call, the deck would have been absolutely dead. I didn't think that you needed to hit both, but I'd much rather have like I probably would have been fine with wisdom I okay and pendulum call the one. I mean, look look at all the look at all the one card pendulum scales. Where are they at? Technically, Pendulum Call is a two-card Pendulum Scale, because you have to discard one card for it. Well, no, it's a one-card Pendulum Scale, because you only need that card to activate and then discard whatever. It, it yeah, does but the... But it does, it does the it's, when I mean one-card Pendulum Scale, I mean it does the Pendulum Scale in itself. Yeah, that's true. That's what... that's what's broken. <laughs> and when you can... But it's not like Monkey Board or Scout. Still, you play it and you get the your pendulum scales. Similar to Scout and Monkey Board, you play it, you get your scales. And that's what that's why I think the card should be more frowned upon. Yeah, possibly. But whatever, they didn't want to hit it. I mean, it's not like the I, mean, I don't really see the engine doing much anyway, since you didn't hit the other tier one deck. So it's not like that engine has much to yeah, to exactly. compete with anyway. But still. This is dual, they though. kind of indirectly hit the magicians by uh, banning chicken game. Yeah. <laughs> just, they did so many things well, to Sky Island is yourself. such an important card in that deck, and now you're just ruining the consistency of getting that. Yeah, I mean, you could still do triple Sky Race and triple Terraforming, but you're probably going to dead draw the shit out of your shit. Yep. Or you could drop Terraforming down to two. That's what you want to do. Yeah. That's probably you have to do, just do something like that because there isn't another fiat spell that you can use. <laughs> Can't believe this man summoned Wendigo. I don't even know what this card does. Oh, a monster you control can't be destroyed without. Yeah, the effect is pretty mediocre. Okay. It's been such a long time since I've seen Wendigo. Like, it, it, was, it came out, we're like, nope, it's crap, and then I never saw it ever be played. <laughs> So, I guess. So what, make a castell and spend- I mean, you obviously know that's a set beast, so. <laughs> you literally know all of Minecraft's cards right now. That's sad. <laughs> so if you're kind yeah, of- the hero player is probably going to win. Mm-hmm. That's a more advantage. Just kind of sitting there with that uh, black skull dragon. <laughs> So yeah, they just could have done a lot more, and with no definitive end, it just makes it even more depressing. <laughs> yeah, indeed. I think they are probably going to wait until at at um, WCQs are over for both uh, regions. Yeah, yeah. So this is probably the definitive uh, list for nationals. So that sucks. <laughs> so. I said, I mean, if you can go ahead and top with Monarchs, but I wouldn't take Monarchs to Worlds. <laughs> yeah, probably not, because it's a hit in the OCC list. Mm -hmm. So, I guess, as of right now, it'd be best to go ahead and take uh, PK Fire. Is, yeah, PK, Fire, is PK Fire the best deck right now? Yeah, Burning Abyss is probably the best deck. Okay. Because like, pure, pure Burning Abyss or Phantomite Burning Abyss? The thing is that Phantom Knight Burning Abyss is more inconsistent, but it uh, gives you more advantages if you, if you if you mill well. But mm. Burning Abyss, regular Burning Abyss is a lot more consistent. You can summon Beatrice a lot easier, which is the best card in the deck, pretty much. Mm. Powerful should all be skin flipped. Okay. 
well, you only get the effect of Beast once per turn and once that turn, so I guess that yeah. other card in his hand that must be really good. Maybe like a shit off even or something. Or maybe he just really didn't want Beast. <laughs> Another Beast. On that. Yep, that broke and shot all fusion. Yeah. Right of it construct, it's not as powerful anymore. True. So, I'm guessing Shikinaga. Does he have any arts? I mean, I guess he still has uh, Globe Ball because he's playing it, so. Skomada and. I could have sworn he played Map Petition. Oh, I guess that was the last duel. <laughs> That was the first two duels that he had mathematician. I guess he didn't get it this draw at this duel, so. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and gotta go, sure. No. <laughs> You're just yeah. about to get in the duel and you gotta yeah. go. But you didn't let me <laughs> fiendish. <laughs> of course. Another one. So with this man in fiendish chain. <laughs> If you like Fiendish Chain so much, just play Phantom Knights and then you get a searchable Fiendish Chain. I'm at yeah, school, so. Story. Oh, okay. Say, so you can get on DN at school? I don't know. I'm a grown man. <laughs> so I don't even fucking know. It's been a cool minute since I've been in high school. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna call it a short one. Yeah, because the last one was a long one. So, uh, anyway, thank you, Omega, for joining me. No problem, because I would join as always. So, uh, if you guys want your low-res pictures, uh, the link in the description, so go ahead and just click it, go there, uh, bookmark it. I mean, you still won't have your pictures, as you clearly see, I mean, unless you can donate, but, because those are still the characters. I mean, maybe they'll go ahead and put the, the character images in the server, but I think it's just much simpler just to do the card images. Uh, and, uh, enjoy. <laughs> enjoy your, uh, DN back again. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next week with some more Dando commentary. And, uh, yeah.